Thanks for logging on to WPTZ.com. I'm Vanessa Shania with your headlines. Four victims were rushed to the hospital after a head-on collision near the airport. At 6 p.m. on Sunday, South Burlington police came to the scene at Airport Parkway and Kirby Road. Two people and the small SUVs needed to be extricated. Now, first responders say one victim had especially severe injuries. Among the debris was a car seat and wheelchair lying in the road. The road was closed for several hours. Both vehicles are totaled. And another crash sent a little girl to the hospital. Police in Hyde Park say a car was going down Battle Row Road when it veered off and hit a tree. The little girl had to be airlifted to Fletcher Allen. No word if the driver was treated as well. Police say speed and alcohol do not appear to have been factors, but they are still investigating. The father and son are recovering this morning after their fishing boat capsized in rough waters on Lake Champlain. Early Sunday morning, 58-year-old Daniel O. and 31-year-old Daniel W. Mitchell called police, saying their boat was starting to sink in Lake Champlain, about a mile east of Crab Island near Plattsburgh. Crews set up at the Peru boat launch for the rescue. Firefighters say the men were shaken and cold, but appeared to be okay. Fairpoint communications workers may soon go on strike. Fairpoint says it gave its final offer to protesting workers Thursday. The offer would freeze the current health care plan and cut benefits for retirees, as well as allow the company to contract some jobs out. The two unions say the more than 1,700 workers they represent are on standby for a possible strike. And a new report from the American Cancer Society says New York State needs to do more to prevent smoking. While the state won high marks for breast and cervical cancer screening programs and restrictions on where people can smoke, the group says the state should reverse recent cuts in funds for programs to prevent tobacco use. The Cancer Action Network says that over 100,000 New Yorkers will be diagnosed with cancer this year. Thanks again for logging on. We'll see you back here tomorrow.